What's going on monster fans? Tonight I'm excited to show you this quick video of a piece that I think is just really fantastic. This is a really really famous mask. It's one of the most famous Halloween masks of all time if not the famous most famous Halloween mask. It's the classic Don Post Studios Tor Johnson. Now this isn't produced by Don Post Studios. There's a company called, I bought mine off of eBay, but I think this is made by a website called HalloweenMask.com, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure that's the name of their company. But anyways, they, apparently when Don Post went out of business, they bought the foam masters of, like, all the Tor Johnson masks. Um, I think they have, like, two or three other Don Post masks that they make and they make up these like really great copies that are almost exactly like the original ones and they're hand painted and everything so you know just google a picture of one of the real ones and compare it to this mask and I think this one's much much better he is a bit on the pricey side it'll cost you about a hundred bucks even which still isn't bad because like the reason I bought this one instead of a real one is I've wanted one of these for like the last year and I keep going on eBay and they want on 60 80 bucks and the masks are all dirty and they go oh there's a small tear in the neck and some guy like cut out the eye holes completely out and there's you know they're all streaked up and stuff and so I figured I might as well get this one and I'm totally not sorry because I think this is much much better than like getting one of the Don Post uh, tour masks and plus you never know what you're gonna get when you order one of those off of eBay because this mask was in production for years and like clear up until Don Post Studios went out of business almost and uh, you know the latter ones were made in China and they had like pretty thin latex and they weren't painted as well I mean, I mean they're great masks but I don't know I I just prefer this one it does have a few drawbacks to it some people might not like is it's totally uncut like the real one the mouth is cut out and it has those kind of holes like in the pupils and there's no I don't think the original ones had slits up the back either but there's no or maybe they did but there's no slit in the back and it's a little on the tiny side like my wig stand dills that I've been using as mask stands like don't really fit on there so I didn't want to like jam one on there where this mask is like pretty expensive at least for me I usually only spend like 45 to 55 dollars on a mask so this was a pretty extravagant purchase for me but I don't know I've been trying to put together like a collection of some of the the famous Don Post characters I've been buying reissues of them mostly like like I got like some of the trick-or-treat studios ones and I got some from Dark Side Studios Dark Side Studios Let's try saying that three times fast um, those are on the pricey side like this too where they're 90 or 100 bucks but like I looked up uh, Rainbow Carlisle and, and Emmett Kelly and stuff on, on eBay and so they're like I don't know 300, 350 stuff like that even for the crappy reissue ones like from the 2000s so I'm hoping I'm sure the Dark Side Studios ones will be really nice like this and they'll probably be hand painted and well I know they'll be hand painted and everything so so these uh, I think are actually much better than than getting like one of the vintage ones the the latex is really thick on this like I said it's hand painted it's got way better detailing and shading and everything than the the original ones the lips 
the lips are a tad on the bright side. It almost kind of looks like he has lipstick on. But that's no big deal. You know, it doesn't bother me, but it might bother like some people. So I'm just like letting you know that they did use like a pretty bright red on the lips. But I think it looks fine. You know? I I think this guy looks better than fine. I think he looks cool. And I don't know if those ones are just dirty, but this one, like clean shaven, like Tor was in all of his movies. Like I've seen several that have like a heavy, look like they have a heavy beard line on them. Uh, like I said, I don't know if those are just like dirty masks, but they look like they had painted on beard lines. I don't know, I, I'm really pleased by this. It's probably not everyone's tup, cup of tea, and, you know, they probably think this is like a boring mask, but this is like one of the really famous Don Post Studios masks, and and I think it's cool how you can buy some um, uh, reissues of these guys, and plus I have like the Trick or Treat Studios uh, pumpkin and witch and all that from Halloween 3, and I, I have the... The one Glenn Strange that looks like the, the, you know, old calendar mask. And then I was able to get some of the back from the grave guys and stuff. on. So I'll, I'll eventually be able to do like a whole shelf, like one of these deals with mostly or all like Don Post style type masks. So to me, I think that's pretty cool. You know, maybe I'm just an old geezer, you know, a lot of people probably think I was, some kind of congenital idiot or something to spend that much money on these goofy old masks, but I used to see these guys in like monster catalogs and mask catalogs and comic books and monster magazines and stuff and I always wanted like a set of Tor Johnson and all those guys, you know. I like all the Don Post characters, so I really want to get the there's like, I think they sell four different versions of this mask, and they they have like the the '90s one. They did a a re-sculpt that looked a little more like Tor Johnson. They do that, and a flesh tone one and a ghost tone one where he's like painted up blue, and. The one I'm the most excited about that I'm going to get next is they have a Tor Johnson clown mask. They did that in the original Don Post line. They did like the Glenn Strange Frankenstein and like a chimp is a, a clown. They had like a whole deal where they did like five or six of the old uh, Don Post masks as uh, clowns and stuff. So I really, really want to get the, I like looked around online and tried to find videos of these. So I wasn't sure how good they were. So that's why I didn't, haven't like ordered all or most of them already. I'm like a total Tor Johnson super fan. You know, I, I even own my own DVD of his terrible movies like Beast of Yucca Flats. And I'm totally down with like, you know, Bride of the Monster and Black Sleep and unnaturals and all that stuff you know I want to get the Death Studios Tor Johnson masks eventually too I'm, I'm really excited about the especially the burned uh, they make a really cool um, Lobo mask where half of his face is burned off so if you go on Death Studios website and you see the Tor Johnson mask where like half of his face is burned up that's actually from an obscure movie called Night of the Ghouls where he played this character named Lobo. He actually played Lobo like in like four or five movies. It was like Bride of the of the Monster and Night of the Ghouls and and Unnatural, I think was the name of the movie. And I'm pretty sure he's Lobo in Black Sleep too. And there might be another movie where he's Lobo, but but anyways the Death Studios one is like almost exactly like you know, Night of the Ghouls Lobo, so I really want to get that one too, so anyways, I'm kind of rambling, but this is a great, great mask 
if you see these reissue copies on eBay and you're like me where you don't care about having the original one and you don't want like a fugly dirty ass one that's been sitting in some guy's garage since 1986 and has cracks in it and stuff you can get these beautifully hand painted ones from eBay or haunted you know, halloweenmask.com or whatever the heck they're called I highly highly recommend this you know if you don't know who Tor Johnson is and don't like uh, you know Don Post Studios masks then this guy's probably not the mask for you but if you're like me then hell you know this you have to have this so for me this was a must have piece and I'm really happy to add this to my collection